This is Russell Hawley, the Education Specialist at the Tate Geological Museum, and today I'm going to talk a bit about softshell turtles. Softshell turtles are still around today in places like Louisiana and Florida, southeastern United States, and nowadays they only get to be about the size of a pizza. But 50 million years ago, we had softshell turtles here in Wyoming, and some of those got as big as a coffee table. What you're looking at here is the second biggest softshell turtle skeleton ever found in Wyoming. And the bigger one is not as complete and it's not as well preserved, so ours is the best. And it was named Big Ben after Ben Shoup, the fellow who found it. This is the skull. You're looking at it partly from underneath. This is the lower jaw. There's the chin. This is the nose and the eye sockets are here and here. In life, there would have been a tube coming off of the end of that nasal opening with the nostrils at the tip of it. A softshell turtle can hide under the water and then use that tube nose as a snorkel so it can remain hidden but still breathe. Softshell turtles have three claws on each foot and you can see those three big claws here on Ben's front foot. Now these are the ends of his ribs. The ribs actually stick out from underneath the bony shell. The, part, the bony part of the shell comes down to here, and then the ends of those ribs are just covered with skin and cartilage when the turtle is alive. So if you hold a softshell turtle, the edges of the shell feel like rubber, and that's why they're called softshell turtles. By the way, if you ever see a real live softshell turtle, don't pick it up like this. The neck is longer than you think it is, and they bite hard. I found this out the hard way. At any rate, these blue spots here show where gar scales were found in the body cavity of Big Ben, and those might be the remains of his last meal. A gar is, of course, a big predatory fish, and a uh, um, powerful carnivore in its own right, but to Ben here, it would have been just a snack. 